Welcome back to my bathroom. Today we have more white elephant gifts. Gag gifts from Timu. We're gonna unbox all this junk together, well, test it out, and rate it one through 10. Couple things before we start. If you missed part one, it's in the description box, as well as the links to all these high quality goods. There's also a coupon code, a coupon code. And these will be put in mystery boxes on my website for a dollar free shipping if you want to circulate the junk and have a nice surprise. That's also in the description box. And lastly, do your tithing. Subscribe and click the like button or the dislike button. It helps me to continue to make these super high quality videos. First up, we have a beef blanket. This is $14, beautiful marbled. What is that, a skirt steak? Not sure how big it is. Just take a look and measure for yourself. If you're looking for something to keep you warm, this is not it. Look how thin this is. I think wrapping yourself in a roll of paper towels will do more than this blanket will. This person said her mom cried when she received this due to its beauty. Girl, I think she cried because you gave her a skirt steak printed on a very large paper towel as a gift. This is a funny gift, not to be confused with functional. It's a solid four for me. Loafers that are loaves of bread, say less. This will set you back $10. One size fits all. That's not true. I wear a size seven. My dogs are gonna bust out. Woo -woo! These are house shoes, but you can wear these out. Yesterday, the employee at DSW told me that it was popular to wear house shoes that are not house shoes, but could be mistaken as house shoes. Also could be worn as house shoes, but also could be worn in public. I missed that trend. Call me crazy, but I thought house shoes were only to be worn at home and when we're going to Walmart. Everything is fantastic about these loafers, except for the one size all fits gimmick. Someone with a size five, six, or a child, a child can wear these. I'm gonna give these a two for their misleading information on the size, but the detail on this, unmatched. Even got the little butter glaze. This thing just looks flaky as heck. Mermaid, merman, firefighter air freshener. <laughs> His hat is number 69. This smells like a chemical warfare. It smells like a smoker's jacket that was washed in those downy fresh bead scents. They put two scoops in. $2 for this. If you or someone you know is an Uber driver or a firefighter or a mermaid, this is the perfect gift. The smell is overkill. So for that, I'm gonna give it a five. Sasquatch multifunction tool card, $2. We have a ruler here on the leg. If you've ever just wanted to know how long something less than an inch is, you can measure it with this really straight ruler. Hex wrenches, bottle opener, can opener, something else here. It just does it all. I love Bigfoot stuff. People who love Bigfoot, squatches, they impress me. My favorite is when you watch Finding Bigfoot, Finding Bigfoot on the Discovery Channel or some jazz, and they'll spend 20 minutes, 20 minutes reviewing a tape because they thought they heard a squatch sound. <coughs> Honey, that's a Kentucky owl. That is a Kentucky barn owl. <coughs> to clarify, I do believe in the squatch. I just think they're collectively camera shy. That's all. This tool, that's, that's a 10. UFO dad hat, also with the squatch. $5. I am a slut for aliens. Like, not really. I mean, that might be going too far. I do like aliens. 20 out of 10. For our next item, I want us to have a moment of appreciation. Let's take a 10 second pause for a round of applause. Okay, that's enough. It came in a plastic tube. Timu has really outdone themselves. Yet again, for $4, you can get this. Laundry today or naked tomorrow. It's a Martian ironing out her meat suit. This is beautiful. If you're in a home decor like me, you need this. It's on a piece of canvas. 10 out of 10. UFO earrings, $1.37. It's a nice piece of acrylic. The alien is sucking up the Christmas tree. Holiday tree, wow. Looks like something straight out of Jared's jewelry. You know that? The spaceship is a little heavy, but gorgeous. 10 out of 10. We saw that greeting card. We've got Santa and Jesus in the same scenario. This one kind of explains itself. It comes with a golden envelope. $2.50. This is a 10. Fast food ornaments. Oh, wow. Okay, you got to string it yourself, so it's a project. 24 of these for $6. That's a thin piece of wood, ladies. Burger, you've got the fries. Pizza. Oh yeah, now we're getting serious. Hot dogs, more pizza. What? It's got damn mushrooms on it and sprigs of rosemary. Wow, 
they're going for it. Sody Pops, and that one looks like a misprint. Maybe that's a po' boy, maybe that's a sandwich, and popcorn. Those are, uh, that's, wow, what are the words? There's no words. These aren't bad. Holiday on a budget. This could probably fill your whole tree. Which, look at my tree. I got this tree at the Dollar Tree. Say that three times fast. This whole thing, decorations, lights and all, under $7. A cicada necklace made out of stone. Perfect. $2 for this, and it's unique. Solid eight. We have a cicada pillow. Yes, ma'am. If your kid has been looking for some squishmallows, get them this. If you're not familiar with cicadas, they come up out of the ground every 17 years and they make music. It sounds something like this. A couple years ago, they were so bad that you would have to turn your windshield wipers on and just beat cicadas off your car so you could see. When I find dead cicadas, I'll dip them in resin. I will, I'll do it. It's weird, go ahead. This is my latest and greatest creation. He is preserved by the Holy Ghost in resin. $15 for this critter, a little pricey in my opinion. So for that, I'm gonna give it a nine. Gear shift cover. I don't have a car in the bathroom, so pretend this is the gear shift. It would go like that, so it looks like it's wearing a hoodie. Comfortable for your hand. $2.50, this came in multiple colors. Perfect stocking stuffer, or honestly, perfect just gift as a whole. Can we just normalize just getting somebody one thing? Hell, let's just normalize getting somebody, some people, nothing. Tis the reason for the season. And these economical, economical times, do we need to feel pressured to be buying a bunch of junk for people we don't even like? This is a perfect, all I'm gonna get you gift. This is it. All you have to do is supply the car. Bicycle shape pizza cutter. Pizza cutter. Pizza cutter. Four dollars and it's double trouble. A blade on the front and a blade on the back. Comes with a kickstand. I don't have any pizza, but I do have this. Have you tried these? This is my new hyper fixation. I'm still on the egg fixation. I love eggs. I do enjoy a protein bar every single day. And I was on a Quest bar kick until one damn near broke my tooth out. If you've never had a Quest bar, don't worry about it. You can get the same effect by picking up a brick at Home Depot and biting into it. Same thing, I've switched from Quest bars to Built bars. Let me show you. It's a protein bar, 15 grams of protein. 15 grams. Come on down to Flavor Town. Oh wow, look, pizza cutter works. This is a marshmallow-like texture. And on top here, this is the best part, it's a cookie dough ball. So good. If you're gonna get these, try this ch cookie dough, chicky dough chunk, cookie dough chunk flavor. Also, while we're on a food thing, let me show you my tea. This tea we're drinking today is called Louisiana tea. See that? They've got these new, are these new? Southern blends. This one's honeyed peach. Honestly, it's too sweet. I'd give it a solid three. Do we rate this? This is a 10. A corn claw clip. I love corn. I mean, I like corn on the cob too. $2 and the detail on this, it's just incredible. Very unique. It's a 10. Goblet sippy cup. BPA free. $4 for this. It's a sippy cup, but it's a nice stemmed glassware. Put some grape juice in this and you're ready to rock and roll. If you've got a baby shower to go to, bring this, 10 out of 10. It's a damn treasure troll that you can put a plant in for its hair. Look at that, wow. $11 worth it. You know what this reminds me of? Have you ever been to bingo? If you haven't, let me paint the picture for you. In the hills of Kentucky, there's some bingo halls. There are other places too, but Kentucky's my favorite. There's all these warehouses that are actually bingo halls and they have midnight bingo. And these ladies will have their oxygen tank in one hand and their bingo bag in the other and they will roll up to the table, have about 20 bingo cards. They've got the dabbers, they're locked and loaded, two dabbers in each hand, cigarette in the mouth, visor on the head. Picture of Natty Light in the front here to quench the thirst of the heavy hand moving. And then they'll have a spread of treasure trolls in the front, little good luck tokens and charms and stuff. They'll stay there all night. They have already drank three pitchers of beer, went through two packs of Virginia Slims, went through about 400 bingo cards, and didn't win shit the whole time, every single time. Fairness, I've never won at bingo either. While we're talking about that, the other day I went bowling. There was this man in his 80s bowling beside me, and he had the bowling, you know, they all wear that bowling gear, the shirt, the shoes. He had a maroon bowling ball, and every time before it was his turn, he'd hold the bowling ball like this, which can really hurt the wrist, because those damn things are heavy, okay? He'd hold it like this, and he'd blow on it and then he would kiss the bowling ball. But it wasn't like a little peck. 
he had duck lips around it where this part of your lips are touching the bowling ball. He would go like this. And it was about that long. So it was some kind of witchcraft, some kind of ritual. Then he would roll the bowling ball down there and straight up miss every time. I'm a germaphobe, but honestly though, if I knew making out my bowling ball would help me in my bowling game, I'd be doing it too. I would. All right, did we rate this 10 out of 10? 100 miniature people in a bag. Do you see that? <laughs> Look at that. They have different colored pants. They have hair. Great gift if you have someone like me that hoards miniature items. $2 for these. That is a 10. Boiled egg keychain, $2 worth it. I love all the keychains I've gotten from Timu. They're just the right amount of classless junk that I need. I love to put them on my fanny pack. Solid 10. Miniature measuring cup. I'm not sure on the amount that it holds, but that looks like a tablespoon, maybe? $2 for this, solid 10. This connects the dots for me. I love cooking, not good at it, but I like it. And I love miniature things. Also like useless things, this is gonna be great. Four pickle ornaments. Oh yeah, did you try those dill pickle cashews? Did you try those? These are pickles. They're supposed to be breakable, or not breakable. You're supposed to not be able to break these. True story. They are plastic but look like glass. Amazing. What's the Christmas gimmick with the pickle? This sounds like some redneck stuff. A pickle is hidden in the Christmas tree. The person that finds the pickle gets a reward? No, let's stop there. A reward for finding a pickle? That's like getting a participation trophy. Gets a reward or good fortune for the next year. There you go, good fortune is free. This originates from Germany. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put this on my Christmas tree and then I'm gonna go to bed, wake up the next morning, I'm gonna get the pickle off my Christmas tree and I'm gonna have good luck for the next year. Creating your own luck is just as simple as that. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Those were $4, a dollar a piece. I did see those at the Dollar Tree though when I was there getting that Christmas tree. I mean, that's a 10. A beef cube keychain. Look at the detail on that. $2, love it. Just to stare at it. Church's chicken, right now, if you get a kid's meal, they give you a prop food keychain. It's a piece of fried chicken. So if you also like prop food, fake food, go to Church's chicken. Balancing birds, four of these for $3. Do you remember these? This is kind of a really wonky version, let's just say. The original balancing bird had a larger wingspan, but you just sit here, put it on your fingertip and do one of these. If you're a younger person watching this, this is what we used to do for fun before we had cell phones, balancing birds. So quit your complaining about stuff. You got a damn mini computer in your pocket. You'll never know the art form of balancing a bird on your fingertip for five hours. Great, came with the acrylic pyramid. If your finger gets tired, your bird can just balance at its own leisure here. These are a three, could be better. LED light up earrings. Beautiful cubic zirconium here. Battery booster on the back. Do you see that? Get closer. The epilepsy warning, be careful. You twist it on, it starts blinking at you. They were $2 and that's a 10. That's a nice holiday piece of jewelry. Simulated piece of bacon. We're in a simulation. It's got a lot of fat on it, a little chewy. I prefer crispy bacon, but that's fine. You ever had a bacon at Shoney's? Cause they have bacon on the breakfast buffet. You can get as much as you want, honey. Bring a purse. Not the best simulated piece of bacon I've seen. I'd give it a three. We have a piece of plastic acrylic with Amazon packages with snow. Came with the ribbon to tie it on the tree. It's a Christmas ornament, $6 for this. There's just nothing like buying something with an Amazon logo off of Timu. Came a little scratched and stuff, so I'm gonna give it a six. Lobster oven mitts. These are $5. They're silicone. They are small though. You're gonna have to have small hands, scary movie hands. Remember that where he's getting the mashed potatoes with his hands? Really hard to get a grasp on stuff. Could be bigger. I'm gonna give him a two. Gas can ornament, $3. It says Ziggy Zig gas money on it. The gimmick is you stuff the hole with some money for gas money. With gas prices the way they are, you're gonna need to put at least 100 in there, okay? Hey, actually be extra generous, put $100 in there and roll up a lottery ticket, will ya? That's what kids really want, I hate that too. When someone turns 18 and they buy a lottery ticket and they win, you might as well just beat me and piss on me. I feel like I've just lost the game of life. I'm an experienced lottery player. And I've never won. I mean, I've won once, but it wasn't a very large amount. I mean, it was a large amount, but by the time you pay the government, I won $1,000, okay? I'm doing that thing again where you say, oh, my uncle died, how'd your uncle die? Don't cliff hang it, I won $1,000. The government took half on my taxes, okay? So I didn't win $1,000, I won $500. Anyway, 20 out of 10. 
cat flower pot. Eight dollars. Fill this with dirt and a cactus is supposed to be right here. So use your imagination. There's a cactus as the tail. Great gag gift, elephant gift, white elephants. Great for plant lovers. This is a 10. This is a hermit crab. That's fingers. Eight dollars real. Is that glass? Not glass, but it will break. It's a breakable. It's supposed to go in your plants. Honestly, it doesn't look really realistic, but someone on the reviews or comments said to take black paint, coat the thing with it, and then wash it, and it gives it a more realistic look. I do like this though, solid seven. That wraps up our Timu Gag White Elephant Gags gifts. We're gonna end this very high quality program with some words of wisdom. Today, we're gonna focus on believing in ourselves. If people can believe in Sasquatch, Bigfoot, aliens, unicorns, and astrology, you sure as hell can believe in yourself for a couple minutes. Not that any of that stuff's not real. Who cares if it is? Who cares if it's not? For example, I've never seen an alien, but I 100% believe in aliens. If I can believe in something that I have zero proof exists, I am capable of believing in myself. I am, so are you. We can trust that we have everything we need in this meat suit to make the right decisions. Our body will tell us when something's right and when something's wrong. You ever do that? You ever just trust your body, right? So let's trust ourselves today. Did that make sense? Hell no, that didn't make sense. If you have ADHD though, it may have connected in some sort of way. Anyway, thanks for joining me here in this bathroom for another white elephant haul. I hope you have a fantastic week. If you're celebrating Thanksgiving, what is the word to say for that? God bless you. Godspeed. If you're not, have a fantastic day and just enjoy whatever it is. Make time for yourself. Do something for you. You deserve it. Holidays can be kind of sad too, can't they? I mean, they really can be sad. So we have to balance that and help out those who feel sad because not everybody has family. Not everybody has friends. So let's work together. Thanks again for being here in my bathroom. None of this is possible without you watching and I will see you next time for something cool. Something. From the world's largest online retailer who does not sell credit card information and is very safe to shop on, Timu. Why are you even in your bathroom? Look at my mirror for Christ's sake. It's on a piece of duct tape, putting meat in his pants. Not while you're wearing the shirt. I can feel some things everything. If you also have an egg hyperfixation, let's start a Facebook group. I don't know, we're canceling stuff every day. I can't keep up. We need a cancellation list of things we're not supposed to say, places we're not supposed to go. Look at that. I can't stand a movie, I really can't. It's just fun. Mm -hmm.